Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster. This is your ever lovable host, Shadowblade730, and oh boy, yeah, um, let's make our way to like, the worst dungeon in this game. I mean, I think this dungeon is even harder than the final dungeon in some ways. Oh boy, you know which one I'm talking about, viewers. And the one, the only, the infamous, the dreaded, the horrid, the most despised Final Fantasy 1 Ice Cave. Yeah, I am so not looking forward to this. Now, and it's not like the enemies are actually, how can I put it? They don't get the greatest experience. And yet, they can just come out of nowhere. Mo a lot of them have instant death or stone attacks or paralyzed. It is just... It's such a spike. I, I mean, saying that you're actually going into the, the Gurugu Volcano, or Mount Gug in this version, that in itself had a pretty substantial difficulty spike from the Earth Cave. But this one I just find just comes out of nowhere and just gives you a left hook. But you know what? The prizes for getting through the ice cave well worth it well worth it so we're gonna do it mostly because if we want to prog progress in the storyline kinda have to because we have no way to actually make our way to the northern continent and find the uh, water crystal or the wind crystal so we have to find a way to um to get up there but since they have no ports however shall we get there we'll find out More crocodiles and hydras. Crocodiles, I do believe, are weak to lightning, but yeah, yeah, they they do have weakness since they hit up to 82 instead of 50. And we got them. Yep, little bit of gear, little bit of XP. All right, yep, you see the little cave over there? That's our destination. All right, let's uh. Oh, well, in one more encounter. Oh. Just remember to take out the werewolf first. Wow, Janie actually took out a werewolf by herself? Way to go, white mage. Alright, we'll finish with that. Now, let's pop a cottage. We're going to need all the health and magic and everything we need. You want to tackle this thing at full power. And don't be afraid to run in some encounters because it's better to run than have to deal with some of the crap in this stage. Alright, just give this little save here. Cause we gonna need it! And enter! Let's see what they're gonna call it this time. The Cavern of Ice. It even starts on the wrong side of the, the stairs. That, it's just an extra little kick to the um, genitalia. Oh great, stony birds, stone birds, no! Oh, don't stone me, don't stone me, don't stone me! Oh! Oh no! Oh! Wee! Oh, and we got him. Whew! Uh, let's see if we can make our way around here. Hopefully no more cockatrices! Oh, blood bones. These aren't too bad. Uh, well, let's loosen them up a little bit. Yeah, there's also a lot of undead monsters in this in the cavern of ice, so yeah. be prepared for this. Now, this is probably the last um, dungeon I think that really the white mage kind of shines. After that, kind of uses or loses its usefulness. All right, we got him. Set over here down these stairs. Now this hallway is pretty easy. If you just head down or to the left and down or down to the left, you'll get around there. Uh, specters. Yeah, these specters, they're just more undead, but um, I know they they can hit really, really hard. So just be careful. See, they're already trying to run from us. They, 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 they realize our power. They realize they can't beat us. Because we are the Light Warriors! Alright, this should take out the last two. Alright, we got him. Ooh, take a little bit of a beating there, but we got him. Let's head over here. Let's just head over here. Ooh, three specters. Ow, that hurt. Let's 
just take you out. Just take you out. And that'll take you out. Hooray! We will need to heal after that little excursion. Yeah, I think that's yeah, let's just steal it, top everybody off. Head down these stairs here. Down these stairs here. Do B2 of the Captain Rise. More specters, but preemptive, so they don't have a chance. They're dead. That's one of these. These undead really don't have a lot of HP. They do have some nasty status elements that go with them. Alright. Head down here. Now, we'll be making a little bit of a mistake here. Um, there's a treasure chest I don't get, but you need to get now. Because this can contain a pretty good item, but um, I'm going to get it later. Probably record a little bit of my making my way out of this cave because there's a pretty hefty walk back. There's a teleporter just to teleport out like we had in the fire or earth caves. So I may just do a lot of my walking out off screen. I may show a little, show a little bit off. Right. This room, yeah. If you actually hit up to the upper left and around, you can get that treasure chest on the left, and you kind of want to get that. Of me, of course. I'm a fool. I forget to get it. All right, we have a new enemy, Ice Gigas. Uh, weak to fire, uh, a little bit stronger than the Fire Gigas, but still kind of a vanilla enemy. Oh, yeah. Watch the. These are just kind of with Dark Wizards. These guys are nasty. I have a lot of really high end spells. Um, in the NAS version, I know they can cast Rub or in that game's version of Instant Death. Uh, in this version, I don't know if they have it, but I know they have some seriously powerful Thundaga, Thuraga, Blazaga spells. They have Slora. Yeah, these guys, they are nasty. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Fira, just attack him. And uh, we're going to try and use a Healer spell to kind of mitigate some of the damage done by the Thundara spell. And hopefully they don't hit us again. Please don't. Whew. Okay, lucky, lucky. RNG was with us. Thank you. Take you out. Cast Fira, see what we do here. Oh, and we got him. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And for that hard fought victory, we get some clothes. Yeah. Yeah, that's one treasure chest. Um, if you don't have to get, I suggest you don't because the ends do not justify the means. That could be a seriously deadly encounter. I just have to be very lucky they didn't go all out with their gospels. Right here, this will drop you down to basement three. And you have to encounter this. this is, yeah, this is a pretty easy fight. Just attack and die out. I should take out these, especially since it's preemptive. All right. And die should do the trick. All right, got him. All right, let's head down. There is a treasure chest over there. And watch out, see how these different colored panels? Yeah, if you step on them, it deals damage just like the lava did in the uh, Mountain Gold. Oh, great. Dark Wizard just random encounters. Crikey. I hate these. Like I said, they can demolish you if you're not paying attention. And really, the null spells don't really matter because they just randomly go for different... Ugh. See, Slora, Stun, Heavy Damage Spells. These guys are not to be trifled with. Whew. Okay, we got him. And we got him. Okay, only two left. All right, we may have a chance here. All right. Whew. They didn't cast any other spells. Thank you. Thank you. This should, yep, this should do the trick. Whew. Oh, almost got a level. Let's see what's up here. Oh, monsters. Holy cow, what we got? Oh, two white dragons. Holy crap. This isn't good. Uh, yeah, bust out the Faraga. Um, they do have a snow, yep, ice storm ability that does a lot, can do a lot of damage. Yeah, look at that. That's not great. Um, so, no frost will, is definitely a lifesaver with these. The only good thing is they have only around 400 HP, so you should be able to chew through them pretty easily. As if they burst you, it's, it's game over. But hey, ooh, we get a good level for Ted. Ooh, and a good level for Roger. This is going great. A uh, pretty good level for Bruce with HP. Um, 
And for that, we get the Ice Armor. Now, this is a little trick I learned. See how the Flame Shield and Flame Mail? Now, if I equip the Ice Armor, that'll give me protection against both Fire and Ice Magic. It's really good. Alright, let's see what's in here. Uh, Mithril Gloves? Don't need them. And let's just make our way through here. I don't think there's anything in there. Oh, more Dark Wizards. Holy crap. Oh, the game does not like me today. RNG be with me. RNG. Oh, this is not good. Faraga. Ooh. RNG be with me. No! RNG be with me. RNG be with me. RNG be with me. Really? Three in a row? Oh my gosh. This is not good. Uh, hold on. Uh, uh. Yeah, we got, uh, wait up. Alright. See if this works. Woo! Alright. They could, they cast another gospel. They could have got me really easily. Alright, we're gonna get our healer on. Alright, I want you to attack. I want you to... What can I do here? Uh, wait a minute. Yeah. Items. Uh, let's have you use the Phoenix down on Roger. Have you use Hero again? Because yeah, that that's. Thank you, RNG, for saving me. All right, let's bring Roger back. Recast Hero, and there we go. Back in action again. See if we can whack this guy before he does it again. Oh, we got him. All our XP still the same. Alright, uh, I think if I'm ever going to encounter any more of those Dark Wizards, I'm just going to run. Man, that was a bad encounter. Let's top everybody off. This is why you need to keep as much HP as possible. Right, there's nothing over there, so we're going to over here. Ain't nothing over there. Uh, what's over here? Oh, six Spectres. Holy crap. Uh... Yeah, let's hit the second, the third level die-out spell. Hello? Not bad. Nah, yeah, okay. Not bad. They, they do a little bit of damage. They're not as strong as I thought they were, but... Never underestimate the undead. Diara should take care of them, though. And we got them. Alright. Let's see. Is there anything here? There's nothing here, and nothing here. I thought there was a treasure room around here. Oh, no, no, no. Yep, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Slow run, I don't care. As long as I get to run away, I'm happy. Whew. I don't like running in this game, but against those fools, yeah, I be running now. Let's head down here and down this way. Two white dragons. Eh. Let's see Faraga. Uh, no frost. Yeah, that's no frost. I can click on it. Oh, never mind. Wow, they hit hard. Let's see how much Faraga does. Pretty good. Pretty good. I should finish that dragon off. You should finish off that dragon. Hooray! Get a little bit of gold and XP. Or oh, gill and XP top off a little bit since that one white dragon did kind of punch us hard. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, treasure room. I like treasure room. Oh, new enemy, Rimmer Rays. Um, just like their cousin, a lot of HP and they hit you. They can hit multiple times and poison you unless you just wipe the floor with them. Alright, some money, more money, more money, and more money. And we have here monsters! No! Oh, holy crap, white wolves. Oh, these guys can kill you! Hopefully none of them, they, they do have a multi-targeting ice attack, I think it's Snowstorm. If they all choose to use it, it could be downright disastrous. <coughs> or we can get Faraga off before anything. Wow! That was neat. Winning that battle, we get some more money. And more monsters! More Winter Wolves. Oh, it's print up, we got this. Um, I don't have. Yeah, I'll use it. What the heck?
Got him. Alright. And we get an ice shield for our troubles. And wow, 12,000 bucks. Man, I tell you what though, we're gonna need all the money we can get, especially after this dungeon. Because this is where the after this the game really opens up. Let's head over here, head this way. Oh gosh, more winter wolves. Uh I don't wanna waste my last one. Yes, it's just Fira. And uh yeah, that's not frost. Oh, uh, that's one. Hopefully you don't all do it. Come on, RG, be with me. That's one wolf down. Crap. And RNG is not nice to me today. Let's see what Fira does. Not terrible. Jeez. See how it doesn't affect um, Ted? That's mainly because he already has ice protection through his ice armor. So, yeah. He also has fire protection due to his shield, so yay! Let's see, gone. More ice storms. Great! Just keep spamming the ice storms! Yeah, we had a rather really bad ice storm earlier this year in January. Man, I got stuck in that thing and it was white knuckle the entire way trying to get home. It was horrid. But not in this game. Alright, pop everybody's health off. This is why I always pack 99 heal potions right now, because it, one one that's really easy to get in this version of the game. And two Especially in cases like this, you're going to go through them. So, hey, there's more treasure. Uh, a Spectre. This ain't going to be bad. Still hit kind of hard, though, I will admit. Alright. So it's over here. Uh, you got an Ether. Okay, treasure chest is through there. Okay. Oh, Pisco Demons. I didn't expect to see you guys. I know there's another version of them in here. A Coswap. And um, be careful we want to fight those guys because they are really nasty. They have a mass paralyzed spell. Their touch, ca their basic attack, I say base attack, their regular attack can actually cause instant death. They are nasty. Uh, they're called um, sorcerers in the original version. Um, don't really know what they call them in this one. I said they retranslated a lot of the stuff for other versions. Yeah, we got him. Yay. All right, see what's in this chest over here. Uh, 10,000 gil. Okay, can't go wrong there. Uh, two. Ambushed by two white dragons. Blue eyes white dragon? No, no, no. Or a white dragon as in W-I-G-H-T dragon? Possibly? Ooh, let's see what Fear does. A little bit of damage. Set up no frost just in case he wants to be a butthole. He's ice storm. Or we could just kill him. Let's just kill him. That's much easier. Alright. Make your way over here. Uh, bust open this treasure room. Ooh, one white dragon. Oh, great. Thank you. I'm not going to worry about no blade, no frost because we should take him off in one shot. Ha! <laughs> nice. Very nice. We will top off a little bit, though. And why not? Now, you see that little crack right there? Avoid it right now, because you're going to want to get these treasures. And if you ever want to leave and get back outside, the stairs up there will be your way out. But hey, wonder what this little thing is. It looks rather odd. A little odd pyramid-shaped item. For boss time with the evil eye. Okay, what are we gonna do here? You know what? Just go all out. He doesn't have a lot of HP, but he can cast instant death spells unless you kill him. I forgot to admit, I uh, forget to tell you that he has very, very low, low HP. But for winning that battle, we get a levy stone, which allows us to raise something from that's buried underneath the ground. Whatever shall that be? 
find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster. This is your ever lovable host, Shadowblade730. See you guys, girls, and in between next adventure.